constantly. Oh, yeah. That'd be the best. Yeah. Well, for me, it's just I, I'll get myself into trouble. Yeah. If I get hammered, it's like very, I'm like three drinks away from just trouble, dude. Throwing everything away. Absolutely. It's trouble. the end of the world right now. All it Every takes. time you blacked out. <laughs> yeah, all it My takes. girlfriend, she's gone. It's time for me to start calling people. <laughs> I'll kill her. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like that joke. <laughs> that's the alcohol. That's the five point nine. No, then I thought about it. Now, now I thought about it. I'm like, that is insensitive, dude. Your time. I was being insensitive. I was just kidding. No, I'm being. I'll tell you what. She hits the fucking end of the world button quite a bit when she's having alcohol? some drinks. I want to go home now. <laughs> so where the fuck did this come from? We were just hanging out. It unlocks the, the world. It's of your fault. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> and I didn't give you a single warning sign until it was too late. <laughs> yeah, it stinks. I, Dude, I would, you want to know something nasty my girlfriend was doing? What? So I was sitting here. My, I'm in. I'm <laughs> sick, possibly dying. I'm yeah, waiting yeah. on my blood test for sure. Waiting on my blood test results. You basically have stage five cancer. Uh, I'm sitting there. Hey, Karumba. Just give me some good news, Doc. Uh, give me some good news. Just give me And I all of a sudden I hear a little laugh. She goes, <laughs> I'm like, what's funny? <laughs> what is funny? I didn't say anything funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What was it? She was hesitant to tell me because she yeah. knew exactly what would happen. Her friend. Yeah. Sent her a picture of a man's penis. Oh, no. That he dude. sent to her. What? And then I said, let me see it. Share it. And she goes, and I went, <laughs> this guy had a huge penis. What? But then Hard- again, it was the was angle. Was it hardened? It was the angle. It was the classic angle. True. Was it hardened? It's like when hunters kill a bear and sit like way behind it. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. guy took a picture of his dick down here with like his head. Yeah. Like I was like, damn, that guy's got a massive dick. No, it's not. It's a regular penis. Yeah, yeah. I've taken several that look just like that. Yeah. I know exactly what you're working with, Nothing. dude. You didn't trick me. You might have tricked the girls. You might have tricked my girlfriend. <laughs> and then I just, and she knew exactly what happened. Good for her. Yeah. For the next hour. No, don't show it to them. Actually, I, yeah, go ahead. Please, show them. Please see that. <laughs> yeah, he, that's a. Damn. That's, don't send dick pics, dude. True. You could be literally <laughs> laughed at on probably the most popular podcast. We should put it. We should frame it and just block his dong out and show his face. <laughs> That's a good way to take uh, that pic, though. I've never really fully seen it. Yeah, his dick was top to bottom the entire frame on the right, and he's like, he's "Whoa!" In the background, like, this is my dick's bigger than my head. Yeah, can't believe this. He's way back. That's a smart move to do. i dude. I'm telling you, I never. Does it work to send a dick pic? I mean, like, if, here's my dick. I feel like if a girl was going to fuck you, she was going to do it, whether you sent her. No, I think it's more for sexting. Like, oh, uh, here, this is for you. This is my you sent me some yeah. vaginal. I want to see some pictures of your butt, your butthole and pussy. At that point, why not just hang out? Why not, why not just hang out at that point? And be like, let's have sex. Well, sometimes you're too Let far it, away. Let's join and have sex. And oh, you need to okay. masturbate. You're literally whacking off while you yeah. take that picture. It's a friend. You want to talk shark feeding frenzy? Yeah, that's true, a feed. True, friendly. true. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting, disgusting behavior. Sending a bee hole shot to a baby would be nice. <laughs> it's, it's a, a <laughs> fucking hemorrhoid. <laughs> it's a fucking horrific bottle. Remember your fucking hellish thing? That was if the you would send that dude, to a babe. Dude. Someone rolled the boulder in front of a tomb. <laughs> It was my butthole was blocked. It was that obstructed was by insane looking. Not even a hemorrhoid. It would have been a like a thrombrosis it was called it was, it was like a vein had escaped my body through my butthole that is that is a hemorrhoid but yeah i saw your your roid that was not a roid dude now that you gotta was, give it the latin you gotta give it its due and say like yes. the latin word for whatever yes. it was that, that thing was so Add some um dumb bro some it's pretty dude, good. i had a fucking I, that was when i was in social work school i had a fucking butthole toilet paper thing going on I had like gauze in my butthole that I had to get up and hand a test in. I was like, dude, this is going to fall out of my pants and just ruin my fucking life. <laughs> what? I had to wear it. Like, oh, it, yeah. Your uh, asshole was popped. bleeding so severely. It finally you popped. Had gauze in your butt. It finally popped. Yeah, we've talked about this. So I had to open fucking you pussy wound. Tail. I didn't like <laughs> <laughs> That was his joke, not mine. Donkey tail. His words. 
It was such a. It was that's a throwback. The donkey tail. Donkey tail. I that's stuck about in that. there. The donkey tail. Donkey tail was hilarious. I thought it was, gonna it was get like at the first live show. You said donkey tail. Donkey tail. I, I forgot like, about that. Wild. Yeah, we haven't done a live pod, a live podcast in forever. True. Maybe we should do one soon. Nah, we'll see. We can do one on helium. We'll we can do one on helium. I want to get into we holographic. Want. We gotta bring back digital graffiti soon. Yeah, true. It's time. That would be tight. Skankfest. That's not a bad idea, dude. Are you doing skate? You're doing skate. Yeah, I think we're doing it. I think yes. we're. I think we're doing a live we'll podcast, podcast, podcast at Skankfest. Dude, we should definitely do digital graffiti. Ooh, Skankfest. I'm gonna be in Vegas in September. Really? Nate Diaz fight. <gasps> Let's go. That's Let's go. That's tight. Don't you dare make that face. Not you, babe. He's talking to Sean. Not you, he's sweet talking angel. To the superstar. Talking to the big time superstar that thinks opponent. he knows what. He has a tough opponent coming up. He has a very tough opponent. He's about to fight like the guy. But Nate, Nate is a tough guy too. Yeah. They finally took away this his. Fight, he's fighting a fucking Dagestani white Muslim dude. Oh, he's he's going to the top of the Mortal Kombat pyramid. It is. He's fighting the number three ranked fighter in the fucking division, which is this is Nate's last UFC fight. Yeah. Most of the time, it'd be for real. It'd be like now Nate. I, I think is obviously better, but it, it's like throwing just an old veteran like Donald Cerrone mm-hmm. against like yeah, like Connor. But Connor was this guy's not Connor. I think this guy's significantly tougher than Connor. Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah, it was amazing how how good McGregor was, and then as soon as you like, as soon as Nate he started fucking, just running out of gas, he started just like Nate he came out of shape. It was weird. It happens, dude. It happens to every fighter. Tyson after Buster Douglas. Yeah, once you get popped like that, is that what it is? Yeah, they literally lose their like mystique. That's fucked up. If you're like a top fighter that bullies everybody and kind of is fucking yeah, everybody yeah. up, the second you run into Nate Diaz and he chokes you. And makes you tap in front of everybody. Yeah. Everyone's like, this guy's a pussy. That was crazy, though. So I would watch my, him. Like, was, he would get like, he'd be like out of breath. All yeah, this he's fights. doing fucking wild shit. He's doing kicks and shit. True. And, but also Nate's cardio is ridiculous. Yeah, true. Nate's like, that's why he wins. In the fourth and fifth round, he, that's when he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm just starting. Yeah. I'm also, his chin up. is fucking absurd. It's fucked up. It's going to be, be a fun That'll be a tight fight. fight. That'll be cool. And St. Rogie's is bringing me, dude. Thank <gasps> you. Thank you, St. Rogie's. That'll be nice. I hit up. I, that was, I, I usually don't ask for things. Yeah, yeah. As soon as Jeez. I saw Nate was fighting, I was like, are you calling the Nate Diaz fight? Yeah. And he was like, yeah. You want to come? Yes. Like, That's, thank you, Daddy. Oh, I was going to ask. But thank yeah. you, Daddy Rogie's. <laughs> 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 Once he fucking, I was, I was, that was the happiest I've been in a long time. That's, when he was like, you'll be ringside for the Nate fight. Oh. I was like. I was sitting here with my girlfriend, and it was nice because she had just invited me to go to a wedding on that day. <laughs> <laughs> it was on that day. I'm on the road for like three weeks before that and yeah. six weeks after that. Yeah. And I was like, I can't go to that wedding. That would mean I'm doing 10 weeks in a row on the road. I can't. I'm not doing anything that weekend. Yeah, yeah. Literally 10 minutes later, they were like, Nate Diaz is fighting in Vegas. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> She understood, dude. That's a pilgrimage. You dude. can't. You cannot. That's a pilgrimage. If if she had a problem with that, that would be a problem. That's a pilgrimage. Yeah, that would be a problem for her. Yeah, <laughs> weddings. You shouldn't go. You shouldn't go to weddings. So funny doing a podcast with your girlfriend just listening. It's crazy. Shut up back there. I couldn't. I don't talk to her like that. I'd be I'm a just bowl. Of, I'd be a bowl of jelly. Yo, you has, you hand me my gallon of water. That's as much beer as I can drink, dude. I'm so thirsty right now. I'm so thirsty. I mean, that's just a bold flavored beer with dark chocolate. Oh, shit. I made fun of it. That's with dark chocolate and espresso flavors. My bad. My bad. My bad. What's that? <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Got him. Dude. Well, what, you said he should buy more, right? Well, because like, uh, I was like, in my head, it was like, it's a, it'll, you'll see smaller losses, but that's only because... Like, uh, if you buy... This is it's, crazy. It's like, I know, I know. It's dumb. It's 19000 You buy 500 You get, like, 1000 You'll see smaller losses. But it's stupid. As soon as I was walking up the stairs, I was like, oh, that's... Dumb. Oh, you got it wrong. You, yeah, all yeah, right, yeah, never yeah. mind. Forgot, <laughs> forgot about proportions and percentages. Yeah. <laughs> happens like, to the best of us. You're like, that's gangster. <laughs> I was so mad about that. Oh, fuck. About what? That's gangster. Nothing. Saying that? So it's a fucking fight, uh, dude. It's just going to fire me up. <laughs> What? Saying that's gangster. And I don't, yeah, don't need what's that. Everyone have, what's everyone doing for Christmas? I'm going to observe whatever the governor tells me to. True. You should quarantine away from your family. <laughs> nah. Nah, I'm gonna not go taking to, Christmas away, dude. 
what do you think is going to happen if we take Christmas? Shit's pure First malarkey. of all, first of all, they're taking it, dude. No, they're not. They're taking whatever they I want. I was just at Thanksgiving. I mean, not from us, obviously. We're patriots. I'm saying. Santa Claus doesn't take Christmas off, dude. True. How are you going to explain that to kids? Ooh. It's they're, crazy they're how. They're just yeah. violating. No, they'll still get right gifts for it. They'll still get gifts. I know. Yeah, Santa will still Bezos. be there. This is fucked. Oh, what's the problem with Amazon? Amazon fucking rules, dude. Let's it, put it on the table. What's it obviously does and exploits the living fuck out of everyone. Out of everyone. What, how? They give everyone $16 an hour. <clears throat> they don't. They give subcontractors $16 an hour. They get that. Then they hand it down to someone even smaller. And it's just like the shit they did. What are you talking about handing it down to someone even smaller? They say, oh, we pay everyone $16 an hour. Then you see all those private contractors with Amazon on their <laughs> shit. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you whining? You guys just trying to wind me up or something? No, for real. I'm not. I I got a guy what a job mean, at Amazon. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was Your working. Brother's with a guy. talking down to you. He got yeah. a job at Amazon, sixteen bucks an hour. Yes, it's not bad scratch. But they say that, and they get subcontractors to do all the work, like mm -hmm. all their shipping and stuff like that. Those are people who are subcontracted by Amazon subcontractors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not true. They're lies. So you're more. Bezos of my owns Washington, the Washington Post. Okay. He's a purveyor of lies. So do you like capitalism or are you more of a socialist? No, I just don't. I don't like how they're taking out all the small businesses and making you go to places like Amazon. So do Walmart. you think the government should step in and I regulate think they should that? step the fuck out. Hmm. But then Amazon would even run further amok. How? The only if there way was to no shutdowns st stop a monopoly like that? Yeah, dude. Without if there was shut no shutdown. shutdown. You're asking no for shutdown, big business dude, to dude. come in and uh, interfere with some businesses. I'm just Say, saying, maybe I'd rather not, I wish much. I could go to a little, like, regular there's, toy there's store nothing. to get my nieces and nephews toys. You know, you, you ever but they a, got you ever shut down. been to a mom and pop toy store? Yeah, they're chill, They're dude. depressing. They dude. suck. The kids it's won't like even remember games. the toys they get. Dude, dude. I hated those. Amazon is... There Amazon, was a toy store Amazon in Old Ridge Village. rules, dude. Is, is it... Amazon rules. I will say it's this. Trojan right. horse. Breaking Trojan up horse monopolies doesn't make you not a capitalist. You can true, still be true. a capitalist. I hear you, but I'm just saying, like... You say you want to break up some monopolies. I want normal-ass Christmas. Like what's that? Well, that's out? not up to not you. Not everything. I, it's I not up to you. you. We let we let every last like, fucking weirdo tranny that tell fucking us what to do. Cheeto of a president you had Come freaking on, ruined. It. It. <laughs> Yo, Amazon rules. Dude, <laughs> I hear you. It's it just it it's does. too convenient. You can't compete with the Amazon. Fact that does I can rule. Have a thing at my house from my phone in one day. At, le at least rude. let me go outside and fucking Christmas shop. You can go outside and Christmas shop. I know I can, but I'm saying they've fucked every business over for what. People are eating outside in the streets yeah. in fucking tents that are heated with yep. no ventilation. That's okay. It's because they're pussy. That's okay. If I had a restaurant, I wouldn't shut it down. I hear you, but They'd have to drag me out of there, dude. People are just pretending like this is cool. Like, oh, wear your mask when you go to the bathroom, but everyone can fucking eat. And yeah. we just got to sit here and play along like this fucking I've restaurant. literally toured the entire time and been on it. Like, you don't have to. We're you patients. can do whatever you want. See that? That's us, man. Yeah. Well, you can my, do whatever well, Also, you dude, you got to keep in mind the, uh, I think, who was it? Stanley Milgram is... The, like the electroshock experiment, like the obedience experiment, 60% of people would deliver like what they believed was like a harmful electric shock just because a person in a lab coat like was like, do it, do yeah. it, do it. 60% of people would be like, and just turn the juice all the way while, while a guy was like, ah! so every once in a while I do feel bad about the touring thing. What do you mean? Yeah, it's, it's, sometimes I get, I'm very susceptible to these things. They're I not told reporting you. flu deaths from last year. How are you going to sit there and say COVID is that bad when you're not reporting the flu deaths? Well, I think they've combined them. If That's you, bullshit. If you, yeah, if you if you look up, and they, they've never stopped counting from when it started. Oh yeah, one day we're gonna hit five hundred thousand. Obviously, we're never gonna stop fucking counting. There's no seasons. Yeah, this is all. So fucking what's this bullshit. have to do with Amazon? I'm just saying the shit. This is the shit that pisses me off. You're in my house. So right you want you want to save your thoughts yo, on my mind. You want to save the malls. I just want to save the malls. You want to save the malls, dude. You love malls. Malls are pretty fucking brutal. <laughs> that's that's what you want. You I've want actually been mall. hanging out at malls this whole time too. Been to several malls. Dude, can we please do a, a live from the Concord Mall? I will do it. Apparently, if you want. it's just like you know. There's people in the middle who like do like nail cream, ca cash for gold. Not even that. <laughs> Dude, I've been to. It's I, not even that. It's just vending machines and coin operated massage chairs all down the middle, and then there's just like people whacked ooh. out on heroin, just stealing yeah. from everything. Dude, it's fucking. Nuts. I, bet, I, I was just at a. I was just at a totally deserted mall like that. It's fucking crazy. We got to do. We got to get like, down there. There is like two stores open in the whole thing, and it's yeah. very weird. It's like There's bonsai like trees fountains. and used books. There's old fucking kids, like, <laughs> coin things that you ride. Like, it's very it's uncomfortable. It's fucking creepy, dude. Yeah, well, I would like to do a live show there. We have to, dude. We could just tell everybody to show up. That would be so fucking fun. We can go to any one of those stores and, like, we'll give you $200, dude. We're going to do a live show in the mall. We'll just do it in the in lobby. The, we should do it in the lobby, Just do it dude. in the lobby. 
Like save them all. Just dude. set it up. That would be so fun. Interview people. Be like, dude, get you out there. Security. What? True. Get you on Overwatch. I'm doing this for you, dude. Oh, I'm fucking Billy Rittenhouse. I'm trying to save them all. <laughs> Don't put any smut on. I would need you. Uh, I would need Overwatch on my Hooters. You got to protect my Hooters. <laughs> if they come for it. Good point. <laughs> you like that scenario yeah. I need you on Overwatch I'll be your protector He's getting his wings <laughs> <laughs> This is Big Bill down to Spud Man <laughs> He's getting his fingers Nah, Bill, I'm, I'm just breaking your balls But I, I do again Why are you I breaking his balls about balls, Amazon bro. Getting him hot and bothered gonna... I've had people hit me up before Like I don't support Amazon Is there any way I can buy your book And it's like Just fucking buy it off Amazon dude Amazon is pretty fucking good it, it, We've never not had kings And rulers that, that's who it is, dude. I'm more of a no gods, no masters yeah. type. I hate to hear you You're fucking... living in a very, no, no, no. very small percentage I hate to hear you t- play pos- roll on. Right. Oh, just lay on your back, dude. That's the same thing with the elections. Like, Sad. Oh, it's over. AP well, what are you, I'm out. saying, what are you doing? I mean, they're currently going through all the numbers now. It's not over. I'll tell you right now, if you're on that side of history, it's going to look pretty bad on you in a couple of weeks. We you know what side of history? Thinking that Joe Biden won because the Associated Press said so? I don't think anybody will care. Are you serious? Like 30 years? Yeah, they'll, they'll just wash that into history. This seems like a very historical time we're living in. They're proving fraud on a large scale. <laughs> Dude, we're all propagandized out of our minds right now. But that's happening. What like, Joe it? Biden didn't have a bigger turnout than fucking Barack Obama. I don't know. I wasn't there. I, I think he did say. just because uh, of mailing. Yeah, that's bullshit. How? That makes sense, though. Like, people that weren't going to leave their house to go vote would just sit there and be like, all right. Would you? No, I did not. Yeah, exactly. But I would have. No one cares if that I, much to do it. Yeah, but the they literally don't sent the sense. ballot to somebody's house. That's why the numbers were so high. I hear you, but they sent ballots everywhere. They're, the numbers they could do have. not add up whatsoever. They could have. Here's all I'm saying about in terms of billionaires and stuff. I'm not saying they're awesome or anything. It's just we've <laughs> always had kings. Yes. We've always had rulers. There, our whole system we set up where be people. We overthrow them. We don't need to listen to Nobody's going to do it. Nobody's going to do it. They're going to give you, if you try to, uh, what is it? If you try to, like, conduct. Never thought I'd see you being a sheep yeah. like this. I'm not being a sheep. I'm just giving people the straight facts, dude. Otherwise, they, you know. Like, they oh, we're always going to have some like, Yeah, might as well it. just get used to it. We've yeah. always I'm not had saying kings. get used to it, Fuck but you have to come to grips with the fact that it's not like they're. Old they're the Amazon dudes. Matt. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, dude. Jeff got to you. All right, dude. Overwatch, get a bump or something like that. Jeff put it on the front page. Overwatch, you don't fucking mistitle my book, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look. No, I, I've made like $33 off of that. But I'm telling you, we, people think they're like, no, we're free. We can vote. It's like, dude, you're ruled. You are ruled. Yeah, they're you, proving you are that a peasant. through those voting systems that your vote hasn't counted probably since 2008. I, I don't I, – yeah, it's pointless. Even if your vote did count the person you elect – yeah, you still a, don't have I'm any a, say in what they do. I want a big Snowden kick right now. What That's mean? what I'm talking about. Snowden kind of rules. You want to Snowden? Get him out of there? Always fucking yeah. He rules hard as fuck. I didn't know he ruled. He yeah. rules. The left smeared him. The left was like, he's a fucking blah, blah, blah. He's actually an asshole. Blah blah. It's like, yeah. nah, dude, he fucking rules. Yeah, That's all know. I'm saying, dude. The fact that people, I, I'm, I think I'm getting misrepresented. I'm like, dude, <laughs> we have rulers. There's people with billions of dollars who can literally get laws created. Yeah. And people are like, I'm gonna vote my way. It's like, no, you're not, dude. You're just fucking not. It's not gonna happen. So People should we have to all just kill ourselves. No, dude, just tell them the fuck off. Do your thing. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. The, this just happened where everyone got locked down and no one said anything. Yeah. No one. Because you're still participating off. in that system that totally fucking subjects you to being a total peasant. So unless people unless people want to become agrarian, that's what you have to deal with. It's like live off the land, or you know, seize the fucking means of power and control. Dude. Yeah. You're more of a you're more of a Sam Adams. You're more of a John Adams. That's how I see you boys. Heard that. Sam Adams a little more rambunctious. Like, we got to go fucking do it. Old softy over here. <laughs> oh, damn it. I didn't know what he did. <laughs> <laughs> no, he ended up being. Shane's Paul over here. I am, dude. He's touring around the country. Yeah, True. I'm telling him. I'm saying the billionaires the, the are Billies coming. is coming, dude. You got to watch out. <laughs> um, But, yeah, that's good. You have, you have, you've chilled out. Politics hasn't gotten, has He's a badass. Have your daughter stab herself while wrestling a cop is just like fuck. Isn't that Christ. the most pain? That they say getting shot in the getting stomach. Getting stabbed. I don't yeah, know. It's like the yeah. most painful of all. Gut the... shot. I could imagine it. I don't know. I stay. bet that hurts the most. You saw your lunch leaking in your yeah. All the Chipotle getting out. Oh, <laughs> the pole being released. The pole <laughs> being released. Being released into the beans. <laughs> your body the just beans. disintegrates. 
I might become more powerful if the po- Chipotle gets released into everything. Because <laughs> right now it's just in the gut, and I'm pretty powerful. It just heals the wound. It could heal everything. <laughs> just Wolverine. Just unchewed piece of beef <laughs> pops in the hole. <laughs> you have little bean, drywall. Little bean shaped fucking things out of your yes. skin. That'd be actually kind of nice. Yeah. I think Chipotle's having a renaissance. I really think they are. Chipotle down here is they pretty good. They fuck. Hey. True. I mean, down here? Close to the Masters. Close, Close to the, the masters. True Chipotle Kings. Guys probably walk in there and <laughs> spit it out. I'm like, I'm offended. <laughs> what is this mush? Yeah, the Chipotle Chipotle is coming back. I think so. They got the carne asada. They were falling. What is it? What's the Chipotle looking like down here? What's the staff? I haven't even seen them, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, oh you're word. just all digital. Just bring it to me. <laughs> <laughs> bring the Chipotle. You're like the Emperor of China. Dude. You're the Chinese yeah. Emperor. What's dude? your seamless like down here? Grubhub, whatever. It's good. It is? Yeah. Thought it'd be but, I mean, I'm not even trying shit. I'm just getting Chipotle. True. Really? Yeah, I'm crossing Chipotle. <laughs> You've crazy. had Chipotle multiple times a day? No, not multiple times a day. I think you can't have multiple I have times hit, a day. I have definitely hit back-to-back days of Chipotle. Yeah. I was eating Chipotle when you walked in. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Have you eaten Chipotle twice in one day? Me? Yeah. No, I've never no, eaten the same I food. I don't twice. think you can. I don't yeah. think it's physically possible. Yeah. In one day, I mean. One bowl. Of, I can eat one Chipotle bowl and not eat for the rest of the day. It's, 100%. That's what I ate yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's the only thing I ate There's a place by us is uh, two days ago, yeah. knockoff Chipotle. It's uh, what's it called? Hot Peppers. Hot Peppers, I split yeah. the bowl in half. He it's two crushed, meals. He loved it. Hot Peppers is so good, dude. Yeah, that was really good. Because they're not commercial. They can give you healthy, bountiful scoops. True. <laughs> dude, I got I got a, I don't want to have anyone lose their job. I hit a sweet green yesterday or a couple days ago. Sweet green fell off. I was wearing yeah, sweet green that. here for a while. They fell off. The one near me is fucking. It's back. Dude, they have herb roasted. They're herb roasted chicken for real. And it's not cutting a little What are the cute. portions like? Bro, sweet green portions notoriously. <laughs> They've been screwing me. Notoriously girl portions. You go yeah. there. It's just like, dude, yeah. what do you Just taste lettuce. It? It's like, yeah. dude, come on. Dude, I had a, a I had chicken. a sweet lattice. I said double chicken, please. What's yeah. that? Sixty four dollars. It was a twenty dollars salad for sure. It's crazy dollars salad. But she used, dude, this is sweet angel gave me my two things, and I was like, I'm you know I'm getting ready to get the sweet green sting. I'm going, fuck, are you serious <laughs> right now? And then, dude, it was two more, and I went reasonable. Now we're talking a little, dude. Four more fucking tongfuls of chicken. I literally said, God bless you, ma'am. Damn, Thank she wants you. it. God bless you, ma'am. Dude, she hooked me up with the fattest fucking sweet. It was awesome. Mm. And those her- their herb roasted chicken is a frill. It's a full chicken fillet. I think they half them. So it was like one half, one half, one half, one. I had like four full fillets of yeah. boneless uh, thigh. Oh, my God. I mean. I said, ma'am, God bless you, man. Ma'am, you're going to fucking make me jizz. Don't, it, dude, for real. And the sweet dressing. Cream. Said medium dressing. I said, that's extra heavy. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, gonna, so this man blessed you. Fully bless me. Yeah. Dude, that's the thing, too. I'm going to start. If I see, like, a real thin lady at anywhere like that, like a service bar, mm-hmm. I'm going to say, "I can I please have someone else? Can I have uh, someone a little more girthy? Yeah. He understands portion size. Yes. You get, like, a thin, like, frail communist college lady, and it's yeah. just like. They used to say that. You what, are you starving you me to death? Are you trying chef to kill me? Or whatever. Yeah. The what? You can't trust a skinny chef. You can't. That's not true. You see some fat. Bag of shit sweating all over your chicken. You'll change, you'll change your tune, dude. You see some guy Chipotle dripping off his forehead. Yeah, smelling like a hot dog. Yeah, Fuck but you that. need a big lady. You can't trust with the portions, man. Do, you get yeah. a skinny lady who's like a vegetarian donut at the like the meat master at Chipotle. It depends if they're dude. Asian. It's nice. Skinny Asians. You think they dole it out? Because they eat like like fat men. <laughs> they just burn it off. True. You ever date an Asian girl? Like a little Asian girl? No, not like, not, like not enough to monitor her calories. I've never, seen, I've never yeah. <laughs> not in those two weeks. Uh, yeah, I've had I've had a tryst, but I've never been like I've never monitored her portions. <laughs> I get upset when my girl orders a salad because it's like starts at fifteen, and then you got to add chicken. Oh yeah, it's like another seven. Yeah, chicken and shrimp. No, you got to go chicken and shrimp, and it's like God damn. You getting shrimp, bro? If I'm adding, pro- if I had, pro- I have a problem. If I'm adding proteins, <laughs> it gets out of control real fast. <laughs> And then I, sometimes they'll be like, oh, you want both? That's a lot. And I go, don't tell me what the fuck my stomach can handle. <laughs> don't fucking judge me. Oh, that's it's actually pretty big. People eat it as a meal. I say appetizer. Yeah. I'll, we'll see what's going on. I'll be the appetizer. judge of that. Yeah. Appetizer, please. Yeah. I got it from my daddy. He's the king, dude, of making, of ensuring portion size at restaurants. Yeah. He goes, let me get a salad. Big salad. Yeah. And like, well, he's like, no, like a big entree size salad. And they're like, all right. Nice. Crushes it. And then it's steak. Yeah. <laughs> Picking out is just what we do, bro. Yeah. It's nice. 
How's you your balance? A, you should see me put a hair. It was a pile. Today was a fucking pile. <laughs> That's nice. I double burgered last night though. Really? Double burgered, followed it up with an Al Pastor taco when we were out. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, you Dude, ate two I'm, cheeseburgers, mm-hmm. like full size burgers? Not mm-hmm. yes, sir. Are these, wow, you cooked them at home? Yeah, or, oven, okay. bur- oven burgers. Oh, okay, that's oven fair. Bur- yeah, oven burgers. You definitely need two burgers if you if it's you a do. home. But I'm talking grilled. guacamole on top of them, cheese sauce, barbecue sauce. You cook your burgers in an oven? Dude, yeah, they're very good. That's crazy. Oven burgers are. I'm t- I was doubtful too because oven burgers were a thing that a I boiler had or just straight oven, straight up. No, straight up, brother, brother. I'm telling you, oven burgers seasoned up. My <laughs> God, brother. <laughs> And then you can, Brother, you can just munch you. them, dude. You make like 50 of them in one shot. They all come out at once. In the restaurant industry, we call it fire. They all fire at once. <laughs> <laughs> Order 42 all day, fire. You know they have slang in the kitchen. Order 42, fire all day. Do Train they, by day? They do Joe Rogan's podcast yeah, all day. Train by day? <laughs> all day? What's, what is that? Repeat all day everything. means like it's done or something. I fucking forget. They go, Order 42, fired all day. There's a bunch. They have slang, dude. They for yeah. real think they're in the army. Yeah. <laughs> we know just all pill heads. I went to college, learned how to boil potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I learned more from my fucking grandmother, dude. My abuela taught me how to cook. Really, dude? In my abuela's kitchen, dude. Oh yeah, I God. didn't know you were such a foodie. <laughs> <laughs> You're a foodie, <laughs> dude. My abuela's kitchen was like any other, dude. Wait, what did you learn? Spices? <laughs> she taught you all the spices. She taught me all the spices. Not even just that, but just the love that goes into the food. It's like uh, a whole thing for my family. All the more. I just like the secrets of cooking and the yes. patience that like she taught me everything about cooking and i like to reflect that through my cooking yeah it's every dude on the food <laughs> sure. that's why yeah, i put yeah, my yeah, burgers yeah, in the yeah. oven my abuela in the kitchen i was a young boy and she'd be pounding flan <laughs> <laughs> she'd be shaving flan balls and she'd say this is the secret to life yeah and i learned that that's why i reflect in my cooking in my baking meatballs on the food <laughs> network <laughs> <on job>. yeah. <laughs> my, uh, i never knew my abuela most of my abuelas had passed before i ever met them i had one abuela alive did you really and she was not a cook she was mean <laughs> there was no love in what she was making yeah not, she yeah. wear a bra yeah my irish abuela showed me the ways of cuisine. <laughs> I, mean, I always just picture big irish grandmothers with their tits swapping. no 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 why do you think Irish grandmas have the tits? Because all well, my aunts. Just... Italian guys fetishize Irish women, and I hate it. They do it yeah, all the time. Yeah, they do it a they lot. Fetishize Irish women. <laughs> they do it. Oh, my aunts. a product of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's your WAP daddy you got in there. <laughs> Crush your, your WAP daddy cream pod your Irish mommy. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is talking down like she's like a big cloud. I come down as a big fat Irish potato ass. I fucking jizzed all over. Yeah. yeah. That's actually, fucking... literally, that's how he talks. Yeah. That's 100% how he talks. Yeah. It's fucking f- flesh, freckled, freckle monster. Motherfucker. <laughs> like, every time you do that, I'm like, that's my whole family. But Dude. all right. It's literally my entire family. Go but ahead. Usually when they're mean, they they don't wear bras. That's why I actually said no, it. No, she was like it... very conservative mean. You know what I mean? Like yeah. uptight. She would never let my grandma. Would n- was, Some peeps. Everybody else is getting jerky. Go. This is hardened <laughs> peeps. <laughs> Pure fructose. That's how you get. That's how the Deliverance boys get you. Oh yeah, dude, dude, we, got dude, guy, dude. we got a guy with some peeps. We're gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna remake Deliverance where the guys fuck him and the dude while he's getting fucked starts jerking off. Yeah, <laughs> but you know breaks out of it. <laughs> you know, looks back and goes, "Come on, harder, you fucking Throws pussy, harder, you pussy." <laughs> Ima- yeah, imagine the day the rape scene is like the longest day of your oh. life, and the guy's like, "Cut." Come on. Yeah. Are you enjoying raping And it was guy, in the woods, just... so it was probably 100 degrees. Oh, there's uh, mosquitoes and shit flying uh, around. You got to yeah. fake it, raped <laughs> by an actor all and day. Like, and you're squealing. And the guy's uh, squealing. And you got to squeal. Well, the other guy was fat and just crying. That was like. Yeah. The other one's gone. Wait, Whoa! two of them got raped at the same time? They both got. No, well, the guy getting raped was crying. And then okay. the guy raping him was like, squeal, piggy. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. I mean, it's just yeah. <laughs> Who wrote that? Like Who wrote words? that? Who's the guy when he wrote know. that? He goes, "Did he know straight away?" He goes, "That's fire." Yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> like he knows when he pent. Pen. Squeal piggy, dude. He when he came up with that, he went, "That's it." That guy, it's crazy. That guy. And they tried for to him. cut it, and he goes, "No, I'm walking. Oh. If we don't, <laughs> and fuck that guy." Squealed for him. I would be like I'm not squealing for you. No way, dude. daddy. I'm not squealing for you. Rural Georgia. That's where they went. They went to Georgia. Rural, oh. Yeah, four city dwelling friends. John Voigt, Burke Reynolds, Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds, yes. Ned Beatty, Ryan Cox. <laughs> <laughs> they just had to get away from their jobs, wives, and kids for a week of canoeing in rural Georgia. Uh oh, 
Yeah. They got, they got buff fucked. Sexually <laughs> abused <laughs> on their canoeing trip. That kid played the banjo, though. Remember? Yeah. Did you know, though, that that's not that's that the kid? One. He, that's not the kid playing the banjo. His oh, arms you don't are, say. His arms are behind his back, <laughs> and there's like someone else's arms. They, just, really? they went down to a school and found the most inbred looking child and said, come here. And then they got a real banjo player to play it, but his arms are behind his back, and it looks like he's going. Diddly, diddly, diddly. What? Diddly, diddly, diddly. John Borman. Sir John Borman. He's been knighted after what he did. The rapist, the, rapist is the, 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 the director. Gotcha, oh. yeah. He's a British filmmaker. He was knighted. He directed sir. Point Blank, but that says 1967. That's You get knighted for that. If you're a British guy and you just film Amer- an American movie of guys like, get over here and butt fucking dudes in the woods, they're like, yeah, nice. they're like oh, yeah, that's America. That's they hand them out willy nilly. Those night hoods. Those night hoods are they willy are, nilly. They are awfully willy nilly. Yeah. If you just like win. Like, sir David Beckham. David Beckham, Alex Ferguson, although he, he Alex Ferguson does it. deserves it. Yeah, but what's the relation? I don't understand. Who's Alex Ferguson? He, He's a soccer coach. He, he, oh, okay. co- he coached Manchester yeah, United for years. Yeah, soccer's a big deal. Most, you guys, yeah. That's yeah, but it's like I don't know why he's a that. knight now. It's like he's a knight. Like, I don't, yeah, <laughs> true. Now you put it that way. Yeah, like I don't understand yeah, the. Sir L. John? Yeah, even our, even business guys. Well, he's, he's, he's proven himself on the field of battle. He's Alan quite Sugar. a swordsman. <laughs> he is quite the swordsman. Yeah, don't you have to like swear to like protect ladies all the time? Like, they, does they, it not mean anything anymore? They hit you with the fucking. The, the, yeah, they the, the, knight you. Yeah. yeah, but don't you have to like? <laughs> you gotta go change all the your queen for the rest of your life. Yeah, no, that bitch Damn. is gone. Yeah, I know you. I think feudal military. Let me protect the king. I take feudal military very seriously. <laughs> Sorry, I take feudal military. Vows yeah, very seriously. If I got knighted, I'd be like, "Well, let's they see. should have all killed Sir Elton John. Should have killed himself when the Queen died. True. Yeah. He should have taken the honorable way out. It's Elton True. John's another <laughs> one. Yeah, all of them should have. <laughs> I'd be riding a horse around. If I got knighted, I'd be riding a horse around London. Yeah, all the you time. would never see me off of a horse. Oh, yeah. my as God. soon as I got knighted, I'd be a fucking centaur. All I'd be following little inns. I'd go to the inn. Oh, yeah. Some soup for me, please. Yeah. Say, boy, <laughs> get me some mead. Wearing armor and stuff. <laughs> They'd say, sir, this is a holiday inn. <laughs> Turkey <laughs> leg end. Yeah. <laughs> You could yeah. cut your wife's heads off. Yeah, yeah like where you you any, any preference? Like, do you have a long wooden picnic table with dark buckles? <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> and a bunch of men to go ha ha. <laughs> yes, yeah, a nice feast. A medieval feast could be fucking pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. just grapes and midgets. Yeah, but I've seen awesome. so many medieval feasts get ruined by another group of guys breaking in and stabbing everyone. True. <laughs> yeah, it keeps happening. It's all the medieval it. feasts. Yeah. <laughs> that would be, dude, I know people make fun of guys that like LARP with foam weapons, but like that would be fun to get like hammered off of wine and eat a bunch of Look, turkey and have dudes come in and you have to like in a daze. Bro, we all want this. I, dude, I know. The guys that actually LARP have just lost everything. True. <laughs> And they're willing, they're just like, fuck it, dude. I'm doing it. <laughs> Every single dude wants to LARP. I remember when yeah. I first heard about LARPing, I was like, holy <laughs> shit. Know, That's as cool as it gets. <laughs> you, everybody wants to, dude. Dude, you I tell myself. You just have to have no dignity. You have yeah. to have never gotten pussy. Yeah. Just, yeah. But it's one a- day you just go, look, pussy's not coming. Yeah. yeah. Let's just have fun. Let's just pretend to be medieval. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just have a feast there, boys. It's time. But it's a fuck fest, too, isn't it? They're all I fucking, do, yeah, they're fucking the girls, other. Well, the girls that get there are also down they're, to their... They're know, all fucked up in the head, they're too. They're nuts. Yeah, yeah you see yeah. the guys in the battlefield, too, though. It's like you don't know if they're coming back. You're going to bless yes. them. I wanted to be... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> also, you can just take it. It's a different era. You can I just... wanted to be... I wanted to LARP, and then there were people when I was in college at Westchester that would LARP in the... There was like a park... And I, as much as I wanted to be out there, I still drove by and screamed at them. <laughs> Who filmed? <laughs> and I said, yeah. get, some, get a girlfriend, you losers. You're like Mike Pence. Who filmed <laughs> and then the I thing? I didn't have any girlfriend. Yeah, you were Somebody <laughs> filmed a sketch with LARPers there way was a, back when. There was a movie. No, there was a sketch. Someone in Philly shot like a LARPing sketch. Because I remember oh, really? we filmed something and I got to like pretend LARP for real in between takes. And dude, you think like. I remember someone went dual swords, and I was like thinking, like, nice move. You need no, a shield. You need a shield, you need a shield dude. It's yeah. harder than you think. It's way harder than you think, and you yeah. get winded. And like, I yeah, remember you... thinking, like, I'm gonna tear this up. Yeah. What you grab a it's mace a... or something? Oh, I, for, I honestly forget, but I know someone had dual swords, and it was a problem. Might, I might have dual swords. I forget. You who might. You strike me as a dual swords. I might have had dual swords and regretted but it. But also, instantly. it depends what type of larping you're doing. You could be a wizard. True. Ah. There is that type of extreme larping where yeah. it's like lightning bolt. Like oh, true. No. Uh, I'm not no. Due to the staff, I know. Had, I want real medieval. Yeah, someone yeah. had like just like a not a bow staff, but it was something like that, and they were yeah. just fucking thwacking people, wailing on them. 
Some of the weapons are for real, like actually yeah. kind of hurt. When yeah, well, real chain. Can't pool noodle hurts, dude. <laughs> True. Dude. So much whip in a pool noodle. <laughs> Imagine someone putting like a broom. It sucks. Right. Dude. It's like a broomstick in a pool noodle, and they're just thwacking. Yeah, you. I and don't you like get, that. Then you get nerd rage. You're kind of just like <clears throat> it, 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 a pool noodle will induce nerd rage no matter what. <laughs> sure. Right across the back, just oh. a slap. <laughs> you seriously stop this? You're doing it too hard. <laughs> I'm going to do it, dude. It's on my... LARPing? I, I think about it. I'm like, God, why don't I do that? And I forget instantly. Well, it's because... Yeah. Well, the yeah, Civil I mean, War You have so reenact. much to lose. True. <laughs> you literally need to have zero. Same thing with Civil War reenacting. You don't think I want to do that? You, want, you, don't, do that? <laughs> you don't think I'd love to march in a line? Yeah. <laughs> I would love it. Um, the, the oh, give me some dude, fife. The... Give me some drums. <sighs> don't what? start, dude. Who just whistled like that? Do not get me play going. Play dead. Dude, how long I'd would you play dead for? I'd play dead as long as I need to. <laughs> I'd be yeah, I'd get hit right away. And I'd play the rest of the battle. Not, uh, <laughs> I would act so hard Help. so that everybody could have fun. I would pretend I'm my dead. hardest. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta you, nice. that's the thing too, though. You gotta be humble when you're LARPing. True. You gotta be willing to be the guy who gets shot and lays. Yeah. The guys that are just going through it like, nah, you didn't get me. Yeah, dude, it'd be so funny. Don't you, make me actually bang at you, dude. If you're down in Virginia, they're doing like a serious <laughs> reenactment. And you got shot, but then you came back to life and ruined the whole production. And yeah. kept going. Oh. Like, I'm actually from the future. I have machine guns. <laughs> yeah, nah. yeah, I'm a robot. <laughs> I'm a robot. Doesn't count. I'm a robot knight. I'm knight. I'm a robot knight. You came down like the Green Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I think it was an Eric Andre sketch. They got it right. They just had them dressed as slaves running across a Civil War reenactment. And everybody got upset. They were runaway slaves. Oh my god! <laughs> and they ruined it. <laughs> they ruined the honky fun. Yeah, it's actually really that is funny. pretty funny. That's yeah, really funny. Yeah, you don't think that crosses my mind, dude? I've been I've been going to reenactments since I was a boy. Yeah, I would watch. Have oh, you been going and watching? Of course. Hoping what about for, hoping sitting for back upset? on a horse? Just cheering, <laughs> saying, I hope. hope. Hoping someone goes off script. <laughs> yeah, I say, I hope Longstreet doesn't waste his time in the picket charge works. Yeah. They did that in South Park, didn't they? Where they yeah, just go, yeah, fuck yeah. it. We're going, yeah, we're they gave them all <laughs> s'mores schnapps. <laughs> and they, all, they were like, we're doing it. We're <laughs> <laughs> rewriting history yeah. books. That's sick. Yeah. <laughs> that was tough. Trying, but even if you think about those medieval feasts, this is what I'm trying to. Because we're all so overexposed to good stuff now. It's like you can't be happy with it. You know what I mean? True. Yeah. Because everything's just so smart. stimulating. But it's basically Fogo to Chow. When you and your boys sit at a long table at Fogo yeah. to Chow. But, yeah. imag but imagine like. True. That's a night. That's, imagine you're all nights. But they, and the merriment too. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That, that, yeah. that music was probably like when you heard that music, you went. Oh, that's because oh, you never heard music all day. There was no music, not yeah. at all. No sure so the idea of some guy playing a fucking cat or whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. dude, the you were just like, "This is the shit." The dopamine dude. release is probably crazy. Oh, you would be wild. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just fucking go nuts. It'd be like being on Molly. True. Also, I love you, dude. Yeah. I ye love ye. I, I love ye so fucking much. <laughs> ye fellow. Uh, one of your boys pops up. He's like, there was a man named Jack who fell down on his back. You go, how the Ooh. fuck did he come up with oh this? God. Yeah, some, was eight mile, dude. Some little jester comes on and he has a bell on his head and you go, what the fuck? Yeah, Damn. everybody from the ye one ye. <laughs> Imagine walking into a medieval like throwdown and as you're walking in, they're singing your song. Mm. Tis never been a braver man. Oh, I'd cry. Oh, oh that would I'd be tear crazy, up. dude. And then they would stop singing. They'd be like, never mind, he's a pussy. <laughs> say, you don't say that. <laughs> and I'd bring out a mace and say, now, now it's not funny, is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, those, those are the, I mean, that's the, that's the goal. Just eat and explain why you can't. And it's like, you sure? this is everybody's argument in there. <laughs> and then they sit there and go oh man <laughs> or explain why you can't yeah it's a I, I, and these are these are private <laughs> you know these are companies it's like, it well, says you have to have one female board member and one underrepresented minority group member underrepresented minority <laughs> yeah so then they decide who's represented minorities yeah it's this about. is crazy time. Oh, so they're, they're, that's how they get away from Chinese people. Yeah, they're like, you can't book Asians. Because everyone will Chinese up. Everybody will, yeah. Like, all right, Chinese up right now. Yeah. We'll Chinese up hard. Matt, stop saying it. What? If I could go back in time and change <laughs> what you just said, 
<laughs> what, I'm giving him a compliment, dude. <laughs> this episode sucks, dude. No, I've been stricken dude. down with melancholy. Oh, I've been stricken down hard with the megalancholy. Well, can you even trade right now? We can trade. Is it how the press time? Or no, I'm saying what? we have... True. Whoa, dude. What? That's how the world works now, dude. You have to True. show off the fact that you know black people. A lot of people are saying that you were hired, Lemare, as a diversity hire for the podcast. Wow, that's fucked Which, up. Which, I thought they knew us better than that. Yeah. We would never capitulate to that type of junk. No, dude. We hired Lemare because he was the only dork we knew. True. <laughs> and it turns out he's not even a dork. He's just dumb. <laughs> Don't be fooled. Occasionally, you get tricked into thinking a guy's a nerd when he's just retarded. True. There's a fine line, Because there is fine, because sometimes nerds love cartoons. Yep. Nerds, and the, the Venn diagram between nerds and just dumb guys. Yeah. It's Tough. crazy. They share a lot of stuff. The only time you tell the difference is you put them, you put them in some headphones and sit them behind a, a desk. And you're like, all right, operate that computer. And they're like, the internet doesn't have the inf- <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm stoked on that. The the NAS- I, I didn't know the NASDAQ was like a building. I thought it was just like an idea. I thought there was like different types of <laughs> – I thought there was like different groups of stocks. Uh, I'm Yeah. That makes sense. Damn. So I wonder if the NASDAQ and the Dow will start like Woking. measuring. Yeah. Well, even if the, like NASDAQ is up 14 Puerto Ricans, the Dow is down. True. I mean, they might as well. <laughs> this is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, we're sliding off into pure like, fucking chaos. I d- there's no way that'll get passed. But if it, like, that's just wild. We got to get back into honor prices. Like, you have to have a woman on your board or you're not allowed to trade with us. Yeah. It's like, Why? Fire them up. We need to. I, dude, I was watching the industry, mm-hmm. and I don't think you're supposed to have such a negative response to it. But I was watching it. I was just like, <laughs> women shouldn't be working. Like, that, was, that was the only thing. What I were was they doing? Thinking. Now? They're just fucking it up, dude. Guys were trying to have fun. Guys were like, yo, let's get fucked up. Do some blow. We'll agree on this deal with this other firm. Yeah. And then a woman would come in, and somebody would try to fuck her. And she'd be like, he tried to fuck me. And the guy would get fired. It's not his fault. You put a piece of ass. <laughs> you talking about why women wear makeup? To if work? I could go back in time and get rid of this, I would. <laughs> you talking about why do women wear makeup to work? I mean, it's not obvious. These things aren't obvious. Just, True. Peterson got I'm basically that. yeah. Peterson. I'm on a Peterson. That's tip. a sick thing to hit women with. Be like, you're just trying to look sexy, dude. Take yeah. off that fucking makeup. They're like, no, we have to. Society makes us wear makeup. What's so funny is definitely they definitely don't. You don't. Yeah, you can just be ugly. You can be ugly. Society yeah. doesn't. We For reward. Sure. Yeah. We we'll definitely give you money. Yeah, just come in there, just plain as hell. I need a plain Jane, dude. I need women to stop smiling, dude. That's such a space. disgust. Why me. are you smiling? Disgust. This me. is why I can't take you seriously. Why are you smiling, dude? Just hit why me. are you smiling? Why are you talking to me right now? I'm not smiling. You were smiling just a second. Well, because I was, I was. I mean, dude, this is advanced facial theatrics. I was like trying to like do the lady's face, and it's just, dude, I can't believe you just threw me down like that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I can't take you seriously, dude. I can't take in a dude. room full of people just dressing them down and then branding them and eating their pussy. It's like, bro, that's what the guy was up to. Yeah, he two life sentences, dude. That's the, a little. The judge strong. was like, he got two life sentences. The judge was like, what? Yeah, dude. I didn't watch again. I didn't watch the final episode, so I don't want to stick up for this guy because he. I think he did some really bad shit. Well, yeah. I think also, he, one of the ladies that he had, the, the chicks he had in his grip, his grips, was like the daughter of like a royal family. So I think he pigged out a little too hard. Good, they deserve it. They've been true. pigging out on our true. our children for too long. I mean, look at the kids but, that disappeared so wait, in Canada. From what I've been, what I've gathered from what you said, this guy mm-hmm. broke them down. They gave awesome. him their secrets. All of them. They gave him to Alice and Mac, who gave him to him, but yeah. Okay. Did they, like, do this at gunpoint? Mm-mm. Sounds like it was all kind of free will up to this point. Well, like, yeah, initially they joined, they agreed. Are they, are, is the crime tricking people? It's uh, human trafficking, so, which I'm trying to figure out exactly how. That, I mean, I think it helped, because they, they brought the case before without the I think the you're allowed to trick people. I think you are. I, I mean, I think you get in trouble. You get, like, theft You by should deception. be allowed to trick. trick. I think so. I mean, again, if he had done this to dudes, man, I mean, he would have been Epstein, to be honest. This is what Epstein did, became super rich, and, you know, he just, he pigged out big time on the other age. Yeah. But then again, it's like chicken and the egg. It's like, that's how he got all of his power, by bringing in the fucking young. Bringing in the young <laughs> on Prince Andrew, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking poor Prince Andrew, dude. God, dude, he's just Imagine trying- you're just trying to fucking have fun on it. Someone's like... Uh, Come on, dude. We're going to go to my beach house. And then you get there and someone's like, 
why don't you have a couple drinks here? Like, of course I'll have some drinks, dude. This is fucking paradise. This is great. And then, bring in the young. <laughs> oh, dude. He's had a couple margaritas. Bring in the young. Also, too, those elites that travel the globe, this is what I think happens to them. You travel the globe, you go to a country, you get a hooker, and you're like, that was fucking awesome. And they're like, yeah, dude, she was 15. You're like, they're like it's totally legal, dude. Relax. And you go, Who's that happened to? I think that's what happens to the elites. Because they, 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 they're just out globe trotting around. What's it, I feel like that. there's certain countries where that happens. I mean, yeah, like a lot of them. Brazil. Oh, for sure. You're talking about me when I was in Brazil? And I no, I'm not, chick. Matt. We made out, dude. Who'd you make out with? How old was I was you? 19. How I was, was 19. How old was I was 19, dude. I was 19, dude. I didn't know. I freaked out. But all we did was kiss. She was 17 and you were 19? Sweet. Or 20 or something. She was your Brazilian. Maybe, maybe you were 24. No, <laughs> yeah, I, no, no, no. I was like 38. I was, I was up 20. Um, you were 20 and you kissed a 17-year-old in Brazil. Yeah. She fucking came on me. His name is Pedo and he's <laughs> dancing. In the sand. Dude, you're down there dancing in the sand. I was. I, I think, dude, I had a fucking rough go in Brazil. I, I think I, I hooked up. Yeah, we up. both got robbed. I hooked up. Well, first of all, I got robbed at knife point. <laughs> I basically pedoed. I didn't know. The guy was you like, became, totally fine. You became I a pedo. I think I hooked up with a transgender woman. <laughs> I, think I, hooked up. I show people the pictures. Like, that thing has a Wait, train. you became a gay pedophile? I think, I think all in just one, two week, 10 day trip. And then you could have hit him, Brazil. And then I missed my flight. I mean, it kind of ruled if you really run it back, dude. It fucking ruled. That's a good dude. trip. I became an elite, dude. I went down to Brazil. <laughs> yeah, that was your FC time. <laughs> oh, my credit card. <laughs> made oh, out, yeah. Made out with a chick and was just like, oh, that was awesome. And I was like, let's hang out tomorrow. We're talking. And I remember she was like, yeah, they see anything. And I was like, oh, Cinco, seis. Fuck. And I was like, shit. And I talked to a guy. I talked to the dude at the hostel. And he's like, it's totally cool, bro. What are you? Like, he like looked at me like, what are you, gay? Like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Yeah, that would be like somebody coming in and being like, "I fucked a twenty-year-old," and you'd be like, "Yeah, that's cool as shit." Yeah, I mean, what are that you was talking about. Yeah, but that that was the uh, that was my time in Brazil. So, but anyway, dude, I don't know why you had to pin me to the fucking Seed Peter's Cross. I didn't at all. All I said was Brazil's one of those places, and then you took it upon yourself. I thought yourself. you were dog whistling me. No, I would never. Oh well, you know. I, call it, I keep it 100, bro. I don't keep it 90, 9.9, 80. I keep it 100. But, yeah, dude, I think I hooked up with a tranny in Brazil. Just made, again, just made out. <laughs> I just made out with a 17-year-old. You only kissed while you were in Brazil? Yeah. <laughs> You're just going around smooching. And then you J-O'd at the hostel. I don't even pretend to think about it. I didn't J-O at the hostel. You didn't J-O at the hostel. You didn't come this whole trip. I came, but. Yeah. Where were you coming? I, I went off and took a weird taxi to a strange place, dude, and fucking ended up in, like, a saloon. It was pretty weird. You jizzed in a saloon? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. A, uh, <laughs> you know, just working lady. You didn't know, dude. People just come up. You'd be eating soup, and girls would come up and express an interest to you and take you down to the beach and then start, like, fucking blowing you and be like, all right, that'll be, like, three cents, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a, yeah. I'm gonna so, double that. Here's that six, happened. Yeah, I six mean, I, this was like the height of my just being an absolute disgusting pig. But it was like, yeah, dude, it, it was it was gross, man. I like left. For, I was like, oh, that's how this works down here, and immediately hopped in a taxi. I was like, take me to another one. <laughs> like, <laughs> fresh back to back. You had fun. That's when You're I walked. That's talk. when I walked in. I'll never. The place was so crazy, man. It was. I I shouldn't have done this. I like took a thing from a taxi in the in the middle of God knows where. It's basically Shredder's fucking hangout in the middle yeah. of Rio de Janeiro. Walked in, pushed. They had saloon. I'll never. They had saloon doors. So I pushed through saloon oh. doors, and it was just like. I walked in there like, oh, I'm gonna die. I mean, and luckily sure. someone, somebody just came and gripped me up, and uh, a toot grabbed you right away. Came and grabbed me. She was probably like, fucking <laughs> jackpot. She told me dude. I had a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No. She's like, yeah, you're the penis. Me, me goose the penis pequeño. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? She's like, no, no, no. Some more larger. No, no, me gusta. Me gusta. Me more pequeño. <laughs> <laughs> what a disaster. I mean, I Maybe know. that's like how it is in poor countries. I think so. Like, it's like being fat. <laughs> where they're like, holy shit, you're fat and have a small dick. You're a a dream boat. <laughs> I need to get down to Brasilia. <laughs> yeah, that was making me laugh. That, I laughed. So I took some mushrooms. Oh, shout out to me. shout out to the guy that brought mushrooms to the show. I usually don't take the drugs that I'm given. Nice. But I did this time. Was this in KC? Kansas City? So I took a little mushrooms. Just late. It was mm -hmm. late. It was after the late show. So I was just laying. I was laying in bed with my partner, and then I started laughing, thinking about like. Because I was just thinking about things, and they were making me laugh. And what I thought you about, about I thought about my penis. 
Okay. Her, I thought oh, about yeah. her. I thought about my partner trying to like spice things up and be like, <laughs> I'm going to give him head when he wakes up. <laughs> and I thought of my partner being like, oh, that's what I'll do. And then pulling the sheets down, seeing just a raw penis <laughs> and being like, oh, no, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh. And I started laughing. And then she was like, what are you laughing at? And I had to be like, I thought of, uh, like, if you wanted to give me a head to wake me up and you saw my penis and decided not to. And she was like, you're fine. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Yeah, I was making myself laugh. That's what happens. If I do mushrooms, I just sit there you and laugh. The giggle? The whole th- yeah, I get the giggles pretty bad. So I funny. mean, I think that's what happens to everybody when they take mushrooms. But I get the giggles yeah so bad the, yeah you get like face hurting giggle you can get yeah. like face hurting giggles on the mushrooms that was like what happened at stanhope's when i took him oh. just thinking about him being like no because his cat died dude someone <laughs> was, I, I was to talking to, to someone somebody. about doing mushrooms and they were telling me the last time they did them all they started thinking about was lewis black and how like they're like dude i was thinking about you doing they're thinking about me doing just lewis black's act and coming back and just like he was like that was so fucking insane he would just scream on tv and ever like yeah fucking awesome he was like he's like i just laughed about that for like an hour like lewis i used to love lewis black i loved lewis black he needs to make i saw lewis black that was one of the first times i was like i want to do stand-up lewis black i saw lewis black i might steal a swag Definitely. Well, man, where are we right now? Where Where are we at time-wise? Yeah, I think this could have been a Patreon episode. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see how the next episode goes. True, true. <laughs> but this, this had the makings of a Patreon. <laughs> like, I don't really have anything. I'll just expose a dark secret. <laughs> yeah, I, this this nothing's, how, nothing's been very funny. I'll just say something bad. This is how the cast came to be. We were just taught we, we had like four good episodes of just like this is another thing. Then we started like, all right, well let's just tell stuff about ourselves. Yeah, let's just <laughs> that gotta to, be something back interesting. Back to the basics, dude. Come on. True. Um What you got, bro? Uh actually December fifth. So this Saturday. Be doing a show in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I asked Matt if he wanted to do it. I forget if you said yes. 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 Matt will be there That's with like this me. weekend. Yeah. This Saturday, December fifth. Nice. You can do it. I'm definitely easy. doing it. 100% doing it. Uh, I just and thought then, time to prepare. December 17th, 18th, and 19th, I'll be at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Let me know if you can do that. Not when, right is, when is that? 17th, 18th, 19th. Of December? December. Right, I'll let you know. I hate the Stress Factory. You know this? Stress Factory is cool. You got it wrong. You were wrong. I don't like it. You were in the wrong. Very well. <laughs> Never had a good uh, time. No, I've I've heard the weekends. Well, it's because we're doing like competitions. And the weekends open mics. there, I've heard are pretty sick. Weekends are awesome. Nice. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's all. That's all for now, gang. Uh. This this definitely felt like a page. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see Maybe which one. Maybe it will be. Who knows? Maybe it will be. Who knows? Also hit up psychnaw dot com. Oh yeah, super Psych- stoked. Psychnaw dot com. P s y c h no. Yes. Dot com, dude. Yes. If you ever want to get tricked into getting Matt's initials engraved in you and your pussy slammed by nope. Matt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna, revert, I'm gonna flip the script, dude. You're gonna I'm get gonna taken advantage of. Cult, yeah, and just have everyone <laughs> eat my, and just suck everyone's dicks and be like, "What the fuck?" Got him. <laughs> <laughs> just blew everybody. Like, ah, I tricked them. Berry kicks and be like, "Yo, Berry kicks was good. They dude. were good, but dude, compared to Lucky Charms, I go to my friend's obviously. house and crush like Count Chocolate and be like, Berry kicks are obviously we would destroy the box, but like." Yeah. I knew what else was good. Phil absolutely. Berry, Berry Kicks us. was that trank, dude. I had. I wanted Berry, that. Ki- Berry Berry Kicks was awesome. That was a delicacy in my house. Yeah. Phil would fuck us with cereal. <laughs> if he went grocery shop, we're getting fucking non frosted mini wheats. Oh, dude. I mean, just yeah, and all the cheap, the bags, the yeah. knockoff brands. Grape nuts. Are, grape circles. nuts should be illegal. Did you ever eat those things? Yes, they're unbelievable. It's crazy that that's a fucking meal. They got to get rid of those. Yeah. Things. We like I see weedies and for for real like grape nuts is like, oh, just gravel. Are... It's like fish tank. <laughs> They're pebbles. It's crazy. Did you eat weedies and get like hype on your athletic abilities? I used to. Yeah, <laughs> I would. That eat... was good marketing. They Bro, like, I used you to want to wa- be jacked. I would walk around school just like. I had weedies. I had fucking weedies this morning. <laughs> that was like that was like an old man catchphrase. Yeah, like, he must have had his weedies. Must have his weedies. They, yeah. yeah, that branding worked. I thought for sure that like that was the healthiest thing you could possibly eat in the world was weedies. I think back then they had like three commercials. Yeah, because commercials was like that was a big deal. Like dudes would quote commercials. Yeah, all the I guess that continues. Dilly dilly. True. Although the I, I, I don't see him. That's the thing. <laughs> I don't see him. 
I like that new Buffalo Wild Wings the only commercial. Way you, yeah. Where the guy's a buffalo and he's singing. Yeah, that's it nice. Makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, uh, Billy was just talking to me about B-dubs. Was Buffalo yeah, Wild Wings is a fine establishment. He called. He he let me know that they don't use seed oils. That's what he was excited <laughs> about. Really? And I was like, dude, you don't have to sell me on Buffalo Wild Wings. B Dubs doesn't B-dubs use seed oils. How many servers did he bother to get that information? There's no way anybody there knows he's, what they he's just, I, I don't even oils. know if he went. He probably Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking seed oils. What the fuck do they fry their wings in then? I'm not sure. Peanut oil? Well, man, please look that up. Because Five Guys was on that thing. If he's hit me with fake news on seed oils, I'll be pissed. He'd dude. be devastated if he got he fake be. news. Because if, yeah, if he ate the seed oils. I told him, I was like, B-dubs. B-Dubs has been a mainstay for me, obviously. B-Dubs is fake. Whoa. Yo. People people have been shitting on B-Dubs lately. Isn't that what McDonald's does, too? Isn't that why you can't have fries from no McDonald's if you're way, vegan? bro. Really? There's something about you can't have fries from McDonald's if you're like a true vegan. It's because there's like dude's hands in the fucking fryer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so just there's a 17 human year old's eyeball in there. Uh, we had McDonald's. There's no denying McDonald's is great. The fries? It's so good, dude. I haven't eaten McDonald's, I, I swear to God, was, maybe a decade. It was so really? long since I had it last and it, it, it holds, holds up, up yeah. It's so good. It might surprise you guys I have McDonald's once a week. Do you really? Minimum. <laughs> Yeah, it well, is. they had uh, adult McNugget buddies in the, in the past month, so I was you gotta uh, collect those. Yeah, it is undeniably lit. Cracking a bag of McDonald's, I haven't had it, and I swear to God, it might even be like fifteen years. Oh, you're gluten free, so yeah, I stopped eating it before that too. Yeah, but it was just like, dude, my parents have finally buckled. Like, all right, we're going to McDonald's, hop in the car, and just be like, oh my <laughs> fucking, this is gonna be incredible, God, dude. Yeah. Milkshake, fries, and a burger was just like, dude, why don't we eat this every day? Power Rangers toys, when they were coming out, that was big. I collected the fuck out of those. Yeah, although we used to, we were a Burger King family. We That's were crazy. To, we were there are no King. more Burger King families. BK was close. I don't know. My, I don't know. D's. My mom was had a beef with Mickey D's. I mean, obviously, we hit Mickey D's, but we would usually hit Burger King. Wendy's was like. Wendy's was good. Yeah, Wendy's was a shit. I told you, I pigged and got Wendy's the other night. Was was that Wendy's you had the yeah, other night? The I bird? had Wendy's. It was disgusting. Really? The spicy chicken sandwich used to be incredible. Oh, dude, it was they've, crazy. They've given up on it. Oh, no. What? Yeah. They've, they've taken that from us. Fuck. That, yeah, I guess was... they tapped out because there's a lot. There's been a lot of innovation on the spicy, spicy chicken sandwich. It's been Popeye's. I think that's it, maybe. I don't know. Wendy's had it. Dude, Let me dude, speak on this. Fucking locked. You know, yeah, this. they were like the best fast Wendy. food chicken sandwich forever. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the burgers were square. Spicy I'd be like square are. burgers. These are definitely natural. Yeah. Get a Never frosty. frozen. Asiago. So spicy what? chicken mm. Asiago ranch burger. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar, what's your go-to fast food now? What Chipotle. Do you, Chipotle. That doesn't yeah. count. No, no, that doesn't count. Doesn't That's count. fast casual. It has to have count. a drive through That is fast, fast cash. Casual. That's fast cash. I think. Don't try to fucking bullshit us, dude. Does P. Terry's count? You have they have, butt they have a drive through I saw that Pete Terry's when you came back from jujitsu. I was a little disappointed. <laughs> but they're too regional. You have to pick a national chain. Yeah, that's yeah, funny true. shit. You got high. You smoked a blunt, got strangled a couple of times. Then got <laughs> Pete Terry's. <laughs> <laughs> you saw Justin Gaethje. <laughs> got a milkshake. I'm going to go tap a fucking burger at Pete Terry's, dude. <laughs> that's good. What's the most burgs you've ever eaten uh, from a fast food establishment? Most sandwiches. We'll throw Arby's into the mix. So that's where I hold my record. Like in from. a sitting? Yeah. Four. Uh, like, I had four. Four? From where? McDonald's. Four little single four burgers. Doubles. No, McDo- four doubles. Four McDo- uh, the doubles. The one dollar, the dollar menu double cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah. One slice of cheese. It's the only difference yeah. between that and a double cheeseburger. Really? <laughs> mm-hmm. And they charge 30 fucking cents more. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's an expensive piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I How many beef and cheddars did you down? I had five. You had five beef five. and cheddars? Beef and cheddars are lighter than burgers, though. I don't know. I, I don't, I that's strong, dude. Those, compared to a dollar dude. menu burger, I those had, are like sliders. Yeah, I had, but I had, I think, three or four, and I was bowling, and then after like a little bit of bowling, I was like, all right. Uh, I took a it. slight break? Took a slight break. Slight break. I'm gonna yeah, if we're four. talking breaks, I've put on, I've, <laughs> yeah. I've gone crazy. Yeah, I, I wanted all five, but I could do, I did a think about four, and then I was like, oh my God, and I waited a little bit and just like begrudgingly ate the fifth one. They let you bring the Arby's into the bowling alley? I got it in. There's no rules at that place. I'm telling you, yeah, I got it in. <laughs> From what I remember, I could have been in a haze, I don't know. 
You you could have been in an Arby's yeah. haze. I was. You're I just was, thinking meat. True. I was just, You're bowling just with that cowboy hat over here. I did like that like gelatinous <laughs> texture of their meat. There no other meat tastes like Arby's meat. It's like Jello. Yeah, doesn't it come like in basically a liquid form kind of? It's weird. And also, if they put the onion, if they gave me the onion roll, I was oh. fucked up. I was so <laughs> mad. I was like, dude, I fucking don't like vegetables. Could I have a vegetable? I, pl- I asked for a plain bun. Oh, you didn't like the I onion roll. I hated the onion roll. I did not fuck with vegetables until I was like 23, like at all. Yeah, same, but I still it was hard to say vegetables. no to bread. I eat vegetables them. are so yeah, good. Bread. I'll eat them if a girl makes me. That's it. <laughs> yeah. If I, that's the only way I'll eat a vegetable. If a girl makes a dinner. Exactly. Got, I'll be if there's mushrooms in it. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I hate you. You know, know fucking like I, these. I've said this 30 fucking times. I hate mushrooms. Bro. My mom still does it. Onions and mushrooms. They on love everything. that. Girls love vegetables, dude. My mom's a Irish cook, dude. It's, it's unbelievable. Just the thickest fucking raw onion. Yeah. Hardly <laughs> cooked at all. Disgusting. I tried you to go, cook mom. Carrots this a fucking weeks sucks. Ago. She goes, I tried. <laughs> Oh, whatever. <laughs> Stop trying new shit. Hamburger helper. That's it. <laughs> you did it. You mastered the culinary arts when I was in third grade. <laughs> Hamburger helper. We had the pesto Two meatballs boxes. last night. Oh, my God. Pesto meatballs. He goes, what are we going to have for a vegetable? I said, tomato sauce. Tomato Silence. sauce is a vegetable. Tomato sauce is a fucking vegetable. Like, there's onions in it. Enough. It is enough. You're going to make us all eat broccoli and ruin the meal? It's I like mean, it's- yeah. You're We're not gonna have, have vegetable meatballs. and spaghetti, huh? There's no vegetable side dish to spaghetti That's what and I'm meatballs. To say. Yeah, but you know, maybe if you have a salad. I won last night. We'll see what happens tonight. <laughs> they gotta eat vegetables. Dude, they spaz if they don't eat vegetables. I'm Who? Like, Dude, girls. Oh, like, we need a vegetable. I'm like, no, you fucking don't. They're bullshit. You know what they forget? The bread side. Can't have some fucking crescent rolls or biscuits with this meal. Come on. True. God, women are so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that fell off, though. There's, I don't feel like there's dinner rolls aren't really a thing. I don't see them that much anymore. Yeah, I think once everyone found out bread is not great for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that fucking Norm MacDonald bit about eating an entire loaf of bread before. It's like, it's the only place you eat like that. I don't, like, make a meal for myself at home and sit down and eat a loaf of bread before I eat it. I know. That's crazy. Oh, dude, but it was a feeding frenzy at a restaurant. Still get me in a red lobster. I'll go nuts. Oh, my God. The Any place with free bread. Biscuits. I'm not eating half of my meal by the time it comes. Yeah. Come on, brother. I'm breaded up. Come on, brother. You're finishing that, girl. It's coming home. I mean, <laughs> I'm eating all the way home. I didn't think you were a take it home guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. I love leftovers. Yeah, true. Take out. It guy. is nice. I wish I had the discipline. I feel like I'm switching it up, though. It used to be always get an appetizer and then you don't eat most of your meal, bring it home. But I'm skipping appetizers these days. I'm trying really? To, trying not to bring food home. You know what kind of guy I am? Clean the plate, total eye contact with the waitress to go. <laughs> the whole do you, time? Do you see me now? <laughs> <laughs> Does this impress you? I want, Do you think it impresses the waitress when I clean my fucking plate? I don't know. I, I think they might be like... I've been a clean plate winner for years, and you think they don't seem impressed. They go, holy shit. <laughs> oh my I God. came back to see how it was going. <laughs> Usually the people are one bite in. <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped this off three minutes ago. Yeah, I don't know. I always, I always in my head thought that they were like, God damn. Damn, that guy's got an appetite. God I wonder what damn. else he could eat exactly. like that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this dude really gets into things. Mm. He's, uh, he's insatiable. You go, actually, I don't need silverware. I'm going to eat this. <laughs> I'm going to eat this spaghetti with my fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> just covered in dude, sauce when she comes back. If you see, the waitress, contact, yeah, no if you see, the, if you see the waitress coming, just. <laughs> <laughs> and then when she goes, how is it? You go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you get oysters. Where's the shell? I'll be like, I ate those too. <laughs> <laughs> They're in my pockets. I take these shells home. <laughs> I'm making a necklace for my for my beautiful wife. Well, this ruins everything. I've been crushing my plates at restaurants and being like, I'm done, mommy. I don't. Mommy think ate my dinner. I don't think they respect it. <laughs> that sucks. It's probably more impressive coming from you. You're a nice, thin, in shape yeah. fella. You know. Yeah. They expect me to they expect, disgrace yeah. myself b- before they come back to the table, you yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going to be fucking farting up a storm by the time I come back over there. <laughs> I don't want to get back over there. It's fucking stinks. You indulge? <laughs> the you indul- section stinks. <laughs> you they indulge? put me in the farting section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, farting. 
<laughs> farting in a booth and having a way just come back and going, I swear to God, that wasn't me. <laughs> I smell it too. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think this place is haunted. <laughs> Does it always smell like this in this corner? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, did you stop at Burger King on the way though? <laughs> Thought I smelled onion rings. In How did somewhere. you know? <laughs> You've got a wrapper hanging out of your pocket, <laughs> your front pocket. Like You're a... still wearing the crown. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, you, that would be so funny if you got a flashback of your all the faces you've ever made farting in public. Just like, <laughs> just, <laughs> just that innocent <laughs> on your deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> just, just fart. Just like, oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. That stinks. <laughs> Fuck. Everyone's gonna know I fucking shit. <laughs> the first time I ever had Indian food it was probably like five or six years ago. Went to a restaurant like two blocks from my house and before the check even came. Flashbang that fucking restaurant. No, I had